Welcome to the man hunt. <laughs> I don't know where to go from there. But the rules are really simple. Try and invade the game and kill me as best you can. Do the murder. I just killed Garriman in the last playthrough, so we're on New Game Plus, whatever this is. I don't remember. Um, and, yeah. Just gonna take it from here. I know I said um, earlier on that you'd be facing the Gunslinger build. That was my intention. But Bloodborne did a stupid, and my Gunslinger build is lost forever. Save file was corrupted, and I checked earlier, and it's gone. It's gone irreparably. I can't get it back. Um, which sucks, because I really want it back. That was the one people voted on, and that was the one people wanted. But the stream must go on, the show must go on, and so Broccoli Wizard is what we're stuck with instead. I'll go over the rules again, uh, in case anyone missed those rules. I can't look at chat right now because I don't have my phone with me, it's plugged in and charging. Um, that's okay. Uh, I'll look at it later to see what people are saying in chat, but the rules are very simple. Um, I will, if I... No, you have to talk about Broccoli, man, that's not one of the rules. Um, hold on, let me make sure I have all the items that I need for this run. Uh, do I? I do. Okay, Sinister Resonant Bell. This is going to be rung immediately, and it will remain in a rung state for the rest of the game. Uh, it is your job, stream audience, to attempt to invade my game and kill the absolute ass out of me. Just, just murder me. Please, kill me. I'm begging you. Fucking end me. That's the whole point of it making it a manhunt. My job is to try and beat the game. Any percent completion. That means I have to kill Garman, and I... Well, I guess it's not any percent then. Uh, but I have to kill Garman, and I have to kill the Orphan of Kos in order to succeed at this run. Uh, this is on New Game Plus 3, I believe. Um, I spent a long time optimizing this character, the, the aforementioned Broccoli Wizard. Some people will call him a cauliflower wizard, but they're wrong! Um, I am not allowed to visit the hunter's dream to restock or resupply my my uh, tools or uh, my, my stuff. Yeah, I can't restock at the hunter's dream. I can't even go there, not to level up, not to restock, nothing. The only thing that I can do is re I have to... If I run out of blood vials or I need to, you know, get bullets or whatever... I have to farm for them, and I can't use the Hunter's Dream to teleport between areas. I have to go everywhere on foot. Um, because I don't believe I can be invaded in the Hunter's Dream, and I don't want to be tempted to cheat. Um, the only time that I will accept that it is acceptable for me to use the Hunter's Dream is when I am moving between the DLC areas and the main game. Because if I made that prohibited, I'd, it would be impossible to leave the DLC once I was there. Um... But, you know, I can only leave the DLC and return to the main game after I've killed Orphan of Cost. So, once I'm there, I can't leave until I win, and I can't restock either. So it's going to be a very difficult run just on its own. Um, invaders have one job, and that is to murder me. The code for invasions is in the description, but I'll say it again here. The password is... Two, three, five, four, nine, four, four. So you can use that to join my game and attempt to murder me as best you can, do the kill, and see if you have what it takes to best the Broccoli Wizard in single combat. Um, in order to make it so that I can't just sprint to the bosses and immediately ignore you guys, um, it is. Oh, I know. In order to uh, ensure that I don't just run to the bosses and kill them and avoid the invaders, if I take any damage from an invader, any damage at all, I have to turn around and engage them in, in battle, in combat. Um, however, neither invaders nor me during you know a one-on-one -on -one fight, neither of us are allowed to heal using blood vials. 
if you have HP regen gems on your weapon, or you have any, or, or you know, you use rallying to heal, that's fine. You can do that. It's just while we're fighting each other, do not heal with um, with blood vials because then these fights would drag on forever. And even if I win or lose, I'd have to go back and resupply all over again, and it's just a huge mess that no one wants to deal with, and I'm dead. I didn't even need anyone to invade me that time. I just died on my own. Good job. Thanks, doggo. I hate dogs! I hate dogs! I hate them! They're the worst. I despise the puppos. They suck. But yeah, um... If you're hearing toys in the background, that's because Baby Shay is having a play. Baby Shay, do you want to talk to the stream? Do you want to say something? No? You busy playing and eating pudding? How do I get the thing up? Oh. Okay. Um, she's busy eating pudding, so she has no comment right now. Now I can check I can check the um, the chat. So I can openly insult you. Kay, why are you doing this? Why are you doing this to me? Oh wait, why am I back in the hunter's dream? I, I'm not allowed to be in the hunter's dream. No. Oh, that's because... Oh, sorry. I've, that's the first time that I died on this playthrough. I have to... Oh, thank you. Happy it's not my birthday yet. It's not my birthday. No Happy one no one listen to this. It's not my birthday yet. It's not my birthday yet. That's not... Happy stop! You're you're telling... You're misinforming them. Happy birthday to it's not my birthday. It, it's not my birthday. Okay, hold on. <sighs> Alright, I made my wish. I made my wish on this not birthday, not, not cake. Birthday it's not my... <laughs> Kay, it's not my birthday. My birthday is on the 17th. It's it's not for a number of days from now. A very happy unbirthday. Yeah, it's not my birthday. It's my unbirthday. Sick Alice in, Run in Wonderland reference. Um, yeah. So hold on while I make the game invadable again. For anyone who decides they'd like to, they'd like a piece of this. You know you want it. You know you want it. You know you want to murder this boy. Look at him. He's murderable. So yeah. Um, if you have Bloodborne, and you want to you wanna play with me in a competitive manner, and attempt to do, to, to do the kill, please don't hesitate, because I, the whole point of this stream is, to, is for PvP to happen, and I'm dead. Um... Although, right now, things look pretty, um, pretty awful already. Central Yarnum, first area, and I'm already getting my ass kicked. But to be fair, the Broccoli Wizard's strength was never in head-to-head -head fighting. It's in using magic. Stop resp- I, I'm sorry, I don't know why it keeps respawning me in the Hunter's Dream. You can see I'm not cheating. I'm not using it to, res to resupply. I don't want it to do that. Can we turn the volume down on that? Um, I hope the game audio is loud enough for you guys, or that my voice is, isn't loud enough. If there's problems with the audio, just say something in the chat, because I don't know. I don't know if it's hearable. Um, no, it's, it's charging. Because it was dead. Um, Kay says it's good, so that's good. Um... I lost my train of thought. I'm just gonna keep playing the game in not silence because that would make a really boring stream. But I'm gonna keep playing the game and I just touched the microphone. Sorry about that. Uh. No, no. Not in my house. No. Hi, Jelly. No. Okay, I'm gonna use that. I'm using that from now on. The tentacle poke is the way to go. The Squidward poke. Blech. I know I wanted to use the gunslinger. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm I am, and I'm not just saying that I'm sorry to, to to you. I'm saying sorry to myself because I was really looking forward to using that in this playthrough and baffling you all with my with my gunmanship skills. But now I don't get the chance, and making that build took forever. That character took so many hours of building and optimizing, and 
and dungeon diving in the chalices to get all the gems that I needed to make an unlimited ammo gunslinger that was actually effective in battle. It took so long, I tried so hard and got so far, and now it doesn't even matter. Very disheartening. Very disheartening indeed. Hey! Hey! That's right, boy. Do the monster mash. I won't stop apologizing. I'm not apologizing to you guys anyways. I'm apologizing to me. That's okay. You can plug it in. Use, use, my, use my charger. Sorry, I'm having conversations with the Shea Bay. Um, she's talking really quietly so no one else can hear her. So I just look like I'm crazy talking to thin air. But I'm not. There are other people in this room, I swear. Right? Right? Alright. Okay. Zaylee's on my side, at least. Baby Shay is proving her existence. Shaby, yeah. She's just having a play. As she does. She is a baby, after all, and that's what they tend to do. Yeah! Broccoli magic! Ow. Broccoli magic! Eat shit! Broccoli magic! Broccoli magic! See, this is the true power of the broccoli wizard. Huh. No! Oh, jeez! Stop! Stop doing the thing where you hurt me! It's tearing up my heart when I'm with you. Okay, we're gonna refrain from the broccoli magic for too much. I'm gonna try and save my, uh, my ammo for bosses. I don't know how effective I'll be. In earlier new game cycles, I was pretty damn powerful, but... Now... Maybe not so much. Um... Earlier, the last couple of new game cycles, I was just tearing through bosses. It was fantastic. Now, now I kind of suck. Oh, by the way, I gave I gave everyone the code for invasion for invasion purposes. Don't use that code to like try and help me. I don't want people to try and help me. I want you to try and kill me. That's the point of it being a manhunt stream. It's not a help. It's not a happy fun times help each other stream. It's a manhunt stream. It's a you all try to murder me for fun stream. So, if your goal is to come in here and help me, and you try to summon in as an ally, I ain't having that. Also, I just realized I need to ring the bell so people can invade me. I'm not very good at remembering things. Don't hold it against me too much. If just don't. Um, also, I was going to say something, but I'm busy, I'm, I'm, my, my attention is divided between the game and looking at the baby, because the baby's adorable. So, you all know the code, it's in the description, I'll say it again, just for anyone who might be joining us more recently. Um, it's in the description, the code is 235 Call now to, to to kill me, please. Make the stream inter interesting. Throw in some of that sick PvP. It'll be fun, I swear. Oh god, this is just what I needed. Weapon at risk. By the way, in case you've forgotten, um, I cannot go to the Hunter's Dream to repair my weapons. So, we might be kind of fucked. If you're wondering why the weapon, uh, why the repair weapon message disappeared, it's because I have two cost parasites and I'm sw I'm swapping between them. But what a perfect time for my weapon to lose durability and need repairs, right at the start. I guess we're relying on broccoli magic for the time being. Let's uh, hop to it. Broccoli magic, away! I'm thinking Black Sky Eye is the way to go, for now. I'm not going to reveal my, um, my ultimate techniques and abilities that you've probably already seen in my hotbar for when invaders show up. 
And I'm not going to spam a call beyond either. Only losers do that. Only losers spam a call beyond. Like you did no, I didn't do that earlier on, and that no one will believe that you said that I did that. Why would you say that I did that? I didn't do that. I would never, ever sit there spamming a call beyond against another player. Bosses are a different story. I will kill every boss in this game by spamming a call beyond. At least I would if the ammo economy wasn't trash doing things that way. Die. Yeah. Eat my ranged attack, biatch. This is doing significantly less damage than I was hoping for. Hi. Eh. Give him a little love tap. Okay, I need ammo. Come here. Come here. Oh good, we finally we've got we've our first challenger. Our first challenger. Yes. Come to me. Fight me. Face me. Defeat me. Adversary deadly 189. And there they are. Let's fight. Face me, deadly 1894. Face me in glorious battle. Our first hunter of the manhunt. Let's do this. Let's go. I'm ready. I am ready to fight you. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Yo! And I missed. Ow. Ow. Ha ha! Oh, okay. I missed again. Got him. Uh-oh. Huh. Got him again. Oh, ho, ho. Remember, no healing. That is one of the rules. No healing for either of us. Oh, it's going to be a close match. Close match indeed. Gotcha. You were a worthy opponent. And I salute you. I salute you. Because you were worthy. So that's how I want things to go. I want people more like Deadly1894 or 1984 or whatever sequence of numbers that was, I don't remember. More people like that. What now? 1894. 1894, that's right. That's the, thank you, thank you, Jess. That's what we want. That's how this, that's how this needs to go. More people like that. Invade me. Kill me. Murder me. Do the thing. Um, wow. I can't believe I actually won. I'm usually pretty bad at PvP. <laughs> but, in my defense, I have a supremely powerful arcane build right now that I've spent a long time cultivating. So, no, you know what? Deadly 1894, you're alright. You're pretty cool, and I like you. Thank you for making this stream a fun and memorable one. And can you stop hitting me, please? None of that. No. You're not cool. Guy thought he was cool. I'm not talking to the baby. The, the baby is as cool as they come. The baby is as cool as it, as it gets. Also, I can't see anything right now. Okay, we're good. Um. Oh, there's another guy over there. Hello. Getting very low on health. I'm going to have to waste some blood vials to heal up. Unfortunately, this build does not have uh, as powerful regeneration as I would have liked. Oh, someone is invading again. Yes. I think it might be deadly again. I'm hoping it is. I'm hoping it's deadly again. Yes, bring me more. Now, yep, it's deadly 1894. Yeah. Hell yeah, deadly 1894, my nemesis. Yes. Our battle will be legendary. A worthy opponent. Worthiest of all opponents. Yes, yeah, yeah, his potions are too strong for me. Now, if you do not ever, if you don't damage me, I don't have to fight you. If I'm able to reach the boss before you find me and before you damage me, I can avoid the engagement. That's part of the rules. I'm just not allowed to, like, you know, do that on purpose. If I run into you, we will fight. But if I successfully manage to avoid you for this entire thing, I don't gotta fight you. 
Uh, and don't be afraid to take advantage of, like, the situation either. If I'm engaged with other enemies, and you see an opening to come and murder me, take the shot, dude. This is, there, there's no honor here. This is all about pragmatism and murder. Oh! Speaking of pragmatism. Get out of here, boy. Okay. Get out of here, you bitch. Get out of here. Okay. I don't know where Deadly is. Deadly's around here somewhere. I know you're there, Deadly. I know you're there. Face me. I feel like Deadly is waiting to ambush me somewhere around here. There. There you are, Deadly. I found you. I found you at last. Hello. Worthiest of adversaries. Come to me. Face me. Face your broccoli... Your... your your root vegetable doom. Face me. Face me in the field of honor. Of which I just said there was none. Whew. Yes, the broccoli. Oh, I missed. All right. Oh, I missed again. Oh, I missed a third time. All right. Gotcha. Yeah, I black sky eyed ya. Gotcha. Aha! I swatched, I switched up my tactics on you, Deadly. But once again, you were a worthy opponent. And I am excited to fight you a million times over. I have no idea who it is. I don't know. I don't think I know them personally, but I might. It could be anyone. It could be anyone out there in the whole world who wants to kill me, and I feel so special. Cool. I mean, think about it. That's a special relationship with someone. A complete stranger out there in the world, but you know, it, deep in your heart, they want you dead. That's the sort of thing you only get once in a lifetime. Yes, it is. Once in a lifetime. A true nemesis. My nemesis. Deadly, 1894. And anyone else, anyone else who decides they'd like to join. Because, by the way, while ganging up on me together is discouraged, it's not illegal. You can do it. If, if a bunch of people decide they really want to gang up on me and, and try to kill me as a team, go ahead. I won't stop you. I'll just fight both of you at once and probably lose, but do it really arrogantly. Like you'll, you guys will beat me, but I'll, I'll, I'll act very confident the whole way, and that's what really counts. Okay, so the first boss in my, uh, in my lineup is gonna be Gascoigne. He's the first mandatory boss. I was gonna, I was considering using some, uh, some speed running glitches to skip past certain areas, but I want to try and do this legit. I want to try my best to do this legit. Where's the guy with the gun? I want to kill him and take his bullets. Give me your bullets, boy. They're my bullets now. Mmm. Mmm. Delicious. Delicious bullets. I don't know why I'm collecting items. I can't spend money anywhere. No hunter's dream for this guy. Um, and I have to fight Gascoigne with whatever I've got on me. If that means absolutely nothing, then I'm going to have to fight him with nothing. But Okay, that's more bullets. Broccoli wizard, away! And you may notice some slight regeneration. I am I do have some HP regen gems on this character. I just didn't load up with them. Um, mostly because I ran out of I I didn't want to continue farming chalices for the rest of my life to try and find the ones I was gonna need. Because I swear, the Chalice Dungeons never get me what I want. I can farm there, the same enemy, for like a, a thousand hours, and never get the gem that I'm after. It sucks. It's the worst. But at the same time, it's beautiful. Everyone hates the Chalice Dungeons, except for the fact that everyone loves the Chalice Dungeons. It's a very strange relationship. It's like a weird, shittier, not-finished part of the game. Ow. That... Well, okay. 
It's looking like I'm going to reach Gascoigne without incident. Which sucks for you guys, because that, that means I'm one step closer to completing the challenge. I can't fish the pig, I'm too slow. But I'm gonna, I'll, I'll fish the pig anyways. The pig needs to be fisted. And actually, it wouldn't be, I wouldn't be fisting the pig, I'd be tentacle fucking the pig. Well, this is the Japanese game, so... And I'm doing it. And it didn't kill him. He survived it. I performed a colonoscopy with my gross Cthulhu tentacle hand on that giant pig, and he survived it. And then I shot him with a face laser, and he didn't survive that. Which is a shame, because I really was rooting for him. Uh, I'm gonna take a, I'm gonna pause for a moment here and pull up the stream on my recently charged phone. Um, I'm not gonna eat some cake right now, because I am in the middle of uh, streaming for the masses. I cannot eat the cake right now. I might eat the cake. I might, I, I might eat the cake. I'll probably eat the cake. I'm going to eat some cake. Hold on. The stream is currently paused for cake eating. Happy birthday to you. Mm. Happy birthday It's not my birthday. You. Don't tell people it's Happy my birthday. birthday dear Paul. It's not my birthday. Happy birthday to you. Okay, it doesn't matter how good you are at the game. You and Deadly can team up on me. Join. Join the crusade. Face me. Face me. I beg of you. Fight me. I require adversaries. I require opponents. Aha! Still not my birthday, dude. Not gonna be my birthday. There. You know, I do wish that there was a way to access this tentacle moveset without having to have the broccoli head. But, uh, there isn't. Trust from to make a really cool moveset with a really cool weapon, but you have to look like a total idiot to use it. Not that I don't, you know, already look like a total idiot. Jeez, Louise. Okay, you know what? We're just going to do this the easy way. But <laughs> you don't got to run behind me there, buddy. He's trying to he's a, he's a real strategist. He's trying to outflank me. Little do you realize I am a direct descendant of George Washington and flanking the enemy is in my blood. Oh, baby Shay doing some teething. Doing some biting. He's a good biter, that baby. I think Deadly might have given up. And if you're out there, Deadly, and you're watching the stream and you have, don't give up. Keep going. Keep fighting. I know you have what it takes. By the way, if you want to know what you're working against here, there's my stats. I'm blood level 156, with pretty decent stats and everything except blood tinge, which is, um, 11. And 99 arcane. So if you're wondering why all my arcane tools are doing ridiculous amounts of damage, that's why. And for all of you Bloodborne rookies out there who don't know how to play the game yet very well, arcane builds. They start out really, really weak. Like, really weak. The only viable weapon at the start of the game that you can use for an arcane build is the torch. The frickin' torch. It's not even an actual weapon. It's a tool to light the area around you that some people thought would be fun if it did damage. Okay. I was expecting that I was expecting that to hit him, but it didn't hit him, and now I'm really hurting for certain. There, die. Thank you. My goodness gracious. Okay, we're all healed up. I'm gonna get some bullets. I'm gonna use another thing. We're gonna pick up more blood vials. Okay. Right now, blood vials, we're, we're doing okay. Enough enemies are, are dropping them that we're not wanting for healing items. What we are wanting for right now is, um... Bullets. I really, really want more bullets. I desire them. Alright. All invasions are now prohibited because we are entering the boss room. Let's go! Ooh, it's spooky. 
Are you all spooked? I'm gonna take another bite of cake while this cutscene is playing. Happy birthday. Don't sing happy birthday. It's not my birthday. It's my practice birthday. It's not my birthday. No, there's no such thing as a practice birthday. It is an unbirthday because it's not my birthday. Happy unbirthday to you. are allowed to sing that because it's true, but but don't. Why? Because don't. Why? Please don't. Because it's not my birthday. Yeah, but the, the unbirthdays don't require a song. Also, no one can hear you. So they're hearing one half of a conversation. Right, but it might bother them. Okay. Jesse says it doesn't bother you guys to only hear half of a conversation, but I'll let you be the judge of that. You can get out of here, Gascoigne. You can get out of here with that nonsense. <clears throat> now, Gascoigne is usually a pretty tough customer, but I have a almost completely foolproof way of dealing with him, which is to not die. I'm not very good at it. I don't know why the game's still searching for a Sinister Bell. I am in the middle of a boss. Can people invade during boss battles? I haven't done enough PvP to know, but I didn't think that was possible. I missed. That's a problem. Now, there are no rules against me using, you know, arcane tools. I guess some people think it's kind of scummy to use arcane tools, but considering my actual weapons are about to break, I don't have a whole lot of choices right now. And besides, we're a new game plus whatever. I'm gonna die. Heal. Heal. Woo. Ow. Gascoigne, what the hell? You're an ass. You're such a. You're such a. You're such an ass. There. So you know things are going all right. Could be better, but they could be a lot worse. And luckily, the uh, auger of Abrietus that I have here is uh, definitely helping. Go on. Get get fisted. Okay, and he's transformed into Mega Wolf Daddy form. I can still knock him around though with my tentacles. Your squid uncle says hello. Oh god. I forget. I sometimes it do I forget how quick he is in this form. Oh god. He's very quick. Oh! He's very quick. Oh, he's really fast. There you go. Get stunned. Get a little stunned. Just get, like, a little bit kind of stunned. Ah! There. Yes. Backstab. Mmm. Mmm, that delicious damage. And he's dead. Oh, he's not dead. I thought he was dead. He's not dead. He is not dead. He's... he was alive. He lived. I thought he was dead. But he wasn't. Oh. Ventricle Soup is here. And Tiernan is here. Peekaboo. T, you have Bloodborne. Invade my ass. Try and kill me. I dare ya. You just told T to invade your ass. Okay, stop. You're never living that one down. You're the one... You're the one... You're, you're making it gay! <laughs> you're the one making it gay! <laughs> I swear I'm not gay. <laughs> but if I was, it would be good. it'd be fine anyways. We're in an era of acceptance. <laughs> Don't quote me on that. <laughs> yep, yeah, now Tiernan's calling me gay. You see what you've done? Yeah. No, I didn't do it. <laughs> I did not bring this upon myself. Alright. Uh, I'll try again. This time I should have more success in fighting Papa G. Good old Papa G. You think he's dead, but then he turns out to not be dead. Don't... <laughs> now he's quoting me. <laughs> he's literally quoting it. In chat. You did this. You made this happen. Man ass. <laughs> no. 
<laughs> no! Why? Why? What, what, what have I? What? No! Enough! Okay. Oh, okay. Baby Shay is, uh... Baby Shay is making some noise and slapping things that probably shouldn't be slapped. So if the stream cuts off suddenly, it will be because she was slapping it. <laughs> slapping the stream. Yeah. Ow. Ah! Daily. Daily. Can you not do that, please? That's mama's. That's your mama. No. Daily. What did I just say? I swear, she's allergic to listening. Oh. Tiernan does not have the time. He's probably working. He's probably being a functioning member of society. Lame. We are not functioning members of society. Excuse we are predators on society. Excuse me? We prey upon society. That's what we do. We're leeches. That was a mistake. That was a huge mistake! This is fine. Ow. Can you stop? You are such a, a jerk. Gas coin. Oh no, dude, I, I knew who you were. I, 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 rec I remember the, um, the uh, profile picture. Don't worry about that. I, I knew. I knew who it was. We've reached the stage where things are starting to get sticky. Oh, we've been at that stage for a while. Yeah, there's, for any of you who are considering becoming parents, there's gonna be a point fairly soon in your child's life where things around the house are just gonna start getting sticky. Even though we clean them. Even, yeah, we clean them. We clean them constantly. It feels like we're never done cleaning them. But they're just gonna be sticky. And there's nothing that, there's, it's nobody's fault. Stick. It's the baby's fault. It's, one, it's, it's, the, it's the baby's fault. I'm blaming the baby. Gascoigne, stop it. Stop it. You are a naughty boy. Naughty boy. No, 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 stop. Enough. He's, he's Papa G. Papa G. Papa G. Pizza. If I ever make, if I ever invest in like a pizza restaurant, I want to call it Papa G's, and then get sued by Papa John's. This is where we were at last time, and he's dead. There we go. Yes, I remember the Samuel Hayden Gamer Pad. Fantastic video. What a fantastic idea. Okay, Gascoigne's dead. I thought he was dead before, but now he, but he's dead now. I don't know who this Gascoigne is, but he's kind of hot. Really? I'm just reading the chat. I'm just reading the chat. Sure. It's check the chat. It's, it's right there. Nothing. Okay. You can be unconvinced all you like. No. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Why? <laughs> now you're paraphrasing. You said it. I didn't say it. I said two different things which you have now fused oh, into okay, one thing. Sorry, you said tea invaded my ass. It's entirely different. <laughs> it's not gay if it's with a homie. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> no, it's not. If it's with a homie, it's it's only 50% gay. Yeah, you're that 50%. I'm the I'm the gay 50%. Yep. It's very worried. Wouldn't that be by then? Since we had it since I'm with you, and we have a child, really. You never asked me to invade your ass. And I never will. <laughs> In fact, I don't think I'll legitimately and seriously ever ask anyone to do that. Except you ask tea. Yeah, but not uh, not literally. I was talking about invading the game. But I was using the slang of the time. Yes, a joke is like a frog. If you take it apart, it doesn't hop around anymore. I said that wrong. <laughs> now, ordinarily, I would go to the Hunter's Dream right now and pick up some, uh... 
some the, the key to this next area so I can just progress and get to Amelia. But unfortunately, I can't do that because the hunter's dream is off limits. So, we're going to go kill the BSB instead. Hello? 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 There you are. Okay. Okay. All right. Next D and D campaign, we're gonna be the ass invaders. <laughs> Tiernan, no, we're not gonna do that. He wants to be an ass yeah, see, maybe I'm not the fifty percent of gay. Fifty percent of gay. Yes, I can talk. I swear to God, I can speak. Also, oh wait, I get, I know why people aren't invading the game. I haven't rung the bell. I need to ring the bell, which means I need to reach an area where the bell is available to be rung, which means I need to get to this next bit. I'm sorry. Bear with me. Now I have to be now I have to be like super careful about what I say to avoid any possible misconstruction into something that would be gay. This is what I that this is what it's come to. And laser face. I gotta say, if I could choose a superpower, shooting lasers out of my face was is up there. Yeah. Not like the Cyclops lasers, which only sort of like hit things really hard, but I mean like an actual like burning hot laser. You're a fire yeah, I wanna fire in my laser. It's what I want to do. Don't even try. Any human with a sense of humor can and will twist your words to be gay. I'm reading the chat. Apparently I shouldn't even try because any, any, no matter what I say and no matter what I do, someone will twist my words to sound gay. Now, to be fair, the invading, the ass invading thing was not hard to work with. I gave you a lot of material there. Stop! Stop. No! Enough! My ship sails in the morning. I will take the Triforce of Courage to protect me. Anyways... I swear this stream will get interesting once more people are tr try to impede my progress. Right now it's just me playing Bloodborne and, like, vanilla basic style. How about vanilla, huh? I like the ice cream. What's wrong with vanilla ice cream? Are you referring to a different kind of vanilla? No. Are you referring to a, a sort of any sort of vanilla that could be twisted in such a way that any way that is not the way that I intend? Did I say anything? You said that you're that you said I'm sure you do, and that I find that suspicious. You find me suspicious. I find you very suspicious right now. I find it very shady, and I don't trust you right now. Not at the moment, no! You don't trust me. I can't trust you! How can I trust you right now? No, no man milk! Don't give her ideas! I'm just reading chat, I swear to god. No matter what you say, no one's gonna hear it. I'm gonna have to repeat it back to them, because you're, you're not talking into the microphone. Okay. Okay, so I'm just gonna have two conversations going on. Three, actually, if you count this dialogue with myself, which is also known as a monologue. Which is also probably known as like multiple personality. It's not. I'm no. Hold on. It's not multiple personality disorder to just be talking during a stream. It's stream of it's a stream of consciousness. <laughs> okay, uh, be sure to tip your waitress. What? What? Left. No. See, that's so gay. How? You didn't think to tip her forward. I'm in a committed relationship. I'm not gonna have sex with the waitress. 
Why else would you tip someone forward? Why else would you immediately think to, sh to tip someone forward instead of just out of the way so you can move? Oh, apparently they can kind of hear you. They can like very faintly hear you. That doesn't mean go nuts saying whatever though. It don't. It don't go down. Don't. Is that what? Is that? I'm not getting any ASMR from that. No, I do not. You called my bluff. I don't get ASMR. Then I guess she can enjoy the, having that facet of life to en to have. I don't have it. That's right, you heard it here, folks. I don't get ASMR from different sounds. Like, I don't really understand what the sensation even is. Apparently it's just like this very pleasant feeling when you hear certain soft sounds. I don't get it. I find the same sounds that give other people ASMR to be extremely annoying. Like, like soft whispering or tapping on things. It just makes me want to kill myself. Well, not when you do it, then I don't want to kill myself. It's more when I'm like, if I click on a video and it's just like into a microphone so close you can hear like the individual skin cells hitting something. I really dislike it. It doesn't make me feel relaxed or at peace. It makes me feel like I need to kill someone. Yes, or kill a dog. I love killing dogs. Repeat that in front of PETA, I dare you. Go find a, someone who is a member of PETA and tell them all about how I love to kill dogs. I hate dogs. Oh, everyone is, uh, everyone is telling you, oh, not everyone, Tierden says to, uh, go to horny jail. Me? Yeah. I'm not horny. Gotta go to horny jail, making all the gay jokes. You're getting bonked. I can. I am half gay. Half gay? <laughs> it's not like a race. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, the half-blood. You're you're part one of them. You're one. Of, you're half gay. I'm legitimately bisexual, though. Yeah, I know. That's allowed. I get ASMR from nails on chalkboard and cursed music. Not any of that soft whispering weak shit. Okay, someone's hardcore. You are a skilled hunter. Adept. Right. Oh, oh! I have to ring the bell. There we go. Bell rung. I welcome any invaders who remember that this is going on. And to recap, for anyone who forgot, the password to enter the game is 2354944. Please kill me. That's not part of the code. Why do you guys do that over there, don't What? Like have like phone numbers with words in them? Okay. Yeah, we do have that. Shadow of Intent gives me ASMR as well. What uh, what is Shadow of Intent? Is that a song? I'm gonna th I'm gonna assume that's a song. Um, where's my black sky eye? Laser face. Uh. Yeah. Okay. All right. Never mind. Don't you just love it when you shoot someone and instead of turning around to face you, they just jump off a cliff? It's my favorite thing. Oh, it's a heavy metal band. Got it. Are they good? Because if they're good, I might have to take a listen. But don't answer that, because you're probably biased. I'll just listen myself. Cannibal, Ho Cannibal Corpse is good. Fucked with a knife? Are you sure that's just not your favorite kink? Why would you buy? What? It, you didn't. You haven't said yes or no. And besides, <laughs> you've been you've been coming down on me all this time. I have come down on you. You've been giving me giving me nonsense about the words that I say. So I'm gonna say them on purpose now. Okay. They're so good. I swear to I swear the lead singer has a portal to hell in his throat. Definitely listen. Okay, I'm gonna have to listen. Cause that does sound metal AF. Someone please invade the game. I also have a portal to hell. Is it in your throat though? Where's your portal to hell? Don't answer that. I'm not gonna ask questions about about anything. I can't trust anything that anyone says ever. Hi, <laughs>
Tiernan is continuing to try to bonk you. Bonk me? Yeah, go to horny jail. Bonk to horny jail. Right, if no one's invading, I'm just gonna run to the boss because I don't have all might to play Bloodborne. I do have to sleep at some point. Hey, oh, my baby. Oh, baby. And it's while this isn't a speed run, I would like to beat the game sooner rather than later. Um, just waiting on people to try and to, to, to try. I mean, the last invader whose name I for some reason can't remember, Killer eighteen. De deadly, deadly, 18, 1897, 1894. 1894. Deadly, Deadly has abandoned me. I killed Deadly twice, and then they, then they won't come back. They won't fight me anymore. Maybe I should have let them kill me. I'm sorry, Deadly, come back. I need to fight someone. You are my one true nemesis. That's a quite actually. Now, if you love someone and you're both guys and it's like a romantic love, that's gay. But if you hate someone and it's a romantic hate and you're both guys, is it still gay? Yeah. Even though it's hate. Yeah. Even though you hate them. Yeah. And they're your nemesis. Is it still gay? Yeah. Okay. But you don't want to like have sex with them. You just want to kill them. Is it still gay? Yeah. Okay. Are you gay? I don't know. I don't know if Deadly I don't know if Deadly was a guy or not, so I might be I might be murder gay for Deadly. Maybe it's Yag. Who? Yag. Who? Yag. Oh Yag. As okay. Right. Like have you read Death Note? De no. What is is Death Note that Netflix thing that came out a few years? No, wait, that's a it's a manga, isn't it? Manger. It's a mango. That did not work in the slightest. I thought that was gonna work. Death Note is, is the mango about the... It's the thing where you write down someone's name and then they die, right? Cool. What about that? What were you saying about that? Is it really? I am gay. Okay, that's awesome. Can you take that? Can you, okay, now I have to read it and just read his name as I am gay. So, what's origami backwards? What? Gyro. I am- I am Gyro. A delicious Greek Gyro. Mmm. Gyro. That's not romance, that's murderous passion and bloodlust, so not gay. So we have one vote in favor of that being gay, and one vote in favor of that not being gay. Tiernan, are you going to be the tiebreaker? Is it or is it not gay to have a hate boner for someone? It's not. It's not a sexual lust, though. It's a murderous lust. If it's a hate boner, I don't think it counts. Yeah, but it's not out. Of, boners have multiple sources. No, they don't. Have you, okay, you wouldn't know this. You don't have a dick, but they can—they can arise literally in stressful situations too. It's—it's—it's—it's—it's boners occur to an, an emotional response that doesn't necessarily have to be sexual. I'm well versed in this because because I do have a dick. So, so it is entirely possible. To, to have a, a legitimate hate boner for someone and it not be gay. You can just want them dead and gone, and the thought of that is pleasing enough to you, of them being dead, to, to elicit that response. I'm not okay. I'm fighting the blood-starved beast with an eyeball. I'm shooting him with my black sky eye, and it's doing almost nothing. He... what? Bleagled? Oh. Oh yeah, he has been blood eagled. Wow, I never considered that that's what's happened to him. But that's straight up what happened to him. I always just look at him as, and say, oh, he's been flayed. But blood eagled is a much more accurate term to describe what has been done to this fellow. So if you haven't played Bloodborne and you're watching the stream and you're like, man, I wish I could invade Twiggy and kill him and murder him. 
and uh, now I have a boner thinking about him dead, hey, go buy Bloodborne, and then you can murder me and kill me. And while you're at it, there's a couple of videos about Bloodborne that I can that I highly recommend. Is not sponsored by I'm not sponsored by Bloodborne, but I though I wish I was. Call me. <laughs> I swear to God, if FromSoft if FromSoft ever sponsors me. <laughs> get, get my feet out, and Miyazaki will sponsor me. God, I wish that was true. At this point, I don't know if Miyazaki actually has a foot fetish, or if he's, like, if he knows. He knows. I'm sorry if it looks like I'm running around doing nothing. I'm trying to to mark all of the, uh, the comments that YouTube is flagging for being vulgar <laughs> as, as, as visible. So by the way, all of you guys who are posting shit that YouTube is, is forcing me to censor and uncensor manually, stop. You're gonna get my ass killed. Like this! Now I'm dead. Look at that. Look how dead I am right now. Oh god, no. Oh god, no. Oh please, no. Please don't. Okay. Is it all about your ass? What? It's not all about my ass. It's partially... It, sometimes it's about my ass, but not all the time. Alright? Get away, get away, get away, get away, get away! You suck! No, he doesn't suck dick, he just sucks. I don't want my ass invaded by another man, Tiernan, stop it! This is a very stressful situation, alright? I have a lot on my, on my plate right now. I'm fighting Blood Eagle Magoo. He's, he's a very, he's rude. Yes, Bleagle Magoo. He's a rude fellow. He's very unkind, inauspicious, and altogether an absolute dick. Just, just a real, a real stick in the mud. And I'm dead. Oh God. Oh, broccoli, protect me. I, f you know, I gotta say, playing the game on New Game Plus Three, because normally my characters don't make it to this many New Game Plus cycles before I get bored of them and decide to start a new one. Um, it's like playing the game the first time again, in the sense that I feel so much weaker, and I have almost no resources anymore. Hi, Do I have a stress boner? No, I don't. I Literally, it is a scientific property of boners. They have many reasons for existing. It's been proven. You have to be attracted to another man for it to be gay. You must want to invade his ass, or want your ass invaded by another man. Do I have a stress boner? I do not have a stress boner anymore, but I might have had one a few minutes ago. I would literally have one all the time. Yeah, but you can't have boners, so you do, you don't have one. But yeah, you'd probably have you'd have probably have to like take some sort of pill yeah. to reduce your your constant stress boners. Yeah. But yeah, and it gets worse when like you're in school. Guys, who can relate? To, oh no, no hunter stream. Who can relate to me on this? When you're in school and like you're put on the spot by the teacher. <laughs> You know, they're like, please come to the front. It doesn't matter, any teacher. And they're just like, come to the front and like do the problem on the board. And you're like, oh no, I don't know the answer. I'm going to look stupid in front of everyone. All the cute girls are going to think I'm an idiot. And then you, you just like feel, you just feel it. You're like, oh no, oh no, oh no. Now everyone's going to see that I have a bone or two and I'm going to look stupid. And then you get more stressed out, which makes it worse. I think you have a problem. Who can relate? Oh god. Who can relate? Can a brother relate? Right, we have to retrace our steps because Hunter's Dream is prohibited. This way. Alright, tentacle that guy. Oh god! I'm in such pain. My body is in such pain. I'm really hurting. Seriously, not a single invader. This is nuts. If anyone is watching the stream and you have Bloodborne, please, please, the code is 2354944. Kill me. <laughs> That's not part of the code, but just do just use those numbers. You can invade this game. It is open. It is ready to be invaded. 
You can have. Don't invade my ass, but invade this game. And also, like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> do that. If you're gonna do something, do that. It really, it really boosts my numbers. It boosts my analytics, and then I can make more sick money. Feels great. I love being able to make money from talking to myself in a padded room on the internet. So thanks everybody. Thanks for giving me that opportunity to do that. Now I can legitimately say You're welcome. that I'm scum. Except not yet, because I still have a real job. Once that's gone, then I can say I'm scum. I was talking to my friend about wanting to get into Bloodborne and he mentioned it's not available on PC. No, it is not. It is a PS4 exclusive. It was a, a launch title when the PlayStation 4 came out. Hello. Um, which does suck a lot. But that's just the way it is. Some things will never change. That's just the way it is. Oh, but don't you believe them. Oh, God. Don't do it. Don't you do it, boy. I'll slap you around with my noodle. No, you're not saying anything because that's not gay, alright? It is literally a tentacle pool noodle coming out of my arm that I'm slapping him with. You're the one making it gay. I'm not making this gay. You're doing this. You're making it gay. It's just one man slapping another man with his noodle. <laughs> Nothing gay about it. It's completely, completely hetero. Just two bros slapping each other with noodles. Five feet apart. Goes the yeah, game. five feet apart. <laughs> now that's gay. Shut up, Lawrence. We're busy simulator. Yeah. No, no Bloodborne for PC. Though I really, really wish it was for PC so more people would be playing it. Because it's a six-year-old game. So, like, the player base is small. Yeah, my daughter is five years younger than this game. My relationship is younger than this game. I didn't even know you existed when this game came out. Isn't that weird? What? What? What do you mean you didn't exist? What? Is this the Matrix? Sword fighting is hetero. <laughs> Depends on what kind of sword fighting you mean, buddy. <coughs> is it two guys with two swords? Or is it two guys using their dicks to slap each other around? Because that's gay. Yes. Mm, it's n I'm not judging, it's just... that's gay. So I, I, I moved countries for a figment of my imagination? I'm still in America? If I'm still in America, I want a fucking gun! You. Nothing's wrong with me. What's wrong with you? Nothing. Well, then you should support my decision of wanting a gun. You have the American. I don't have the... I was... Uh, have the American? Excuse you. I am the American. I'm America given flesh. I'm Captain America. <laughs> well, okay, I guess I'm not Captain America then. And to be honest, he's not really my favorite either. He's kind of a goody two shoes. Well, America. No, America as a whole is not goody two shoes. America is Maverick. America is a mess. The divided states of America. I cannot argue that right now. Can that not go down my top three things? Right. Invade America's ass. No! <laughs> no invade. No, none of that. Yeah. I'm sorry if it looks like I'm stopping and starting a lot. Um, I keep checking the chat and seeing more and more horrible things posted. So thanks, guys. And also, I'm running out of healing items, which is a serious problem considering there's a lot of game left. I might have to run back to the first area and do some farming. <laughs> See, <laughs> Xi Jinping wants to know your location. Oh, that's funny. That's a, that's a funny gag. What? 
I can make a comment on thinking something's funny and it will still be funny to me. If you say it, that's funny, it's not funny anymore. It's still funny to me. You ruin yeah. it to everyone Well, I don't really care about everyone else. That's so rude. Well, deal with it. American. Okay, that, you, you're saying that like it's an insult when it's a compliment. Only to Americans. Yes. And I am one, so thank you. Oh, you tragic thing. By the way, chat, question for you. You guys excited for Elden Ring? It's going to be crazy when it comes out, right? Ring. Not if it comes out, when it comes out, because it's going to happen. Thank you. I was fantasizing just yesterday about destroying China by stealing Jeff Bezos' body and buying the largest military force. Okay, Tiernan. Yeah, that's Tiernan. Really, take a guess. Does that sound like Tiernan? Really? Does that sound like something he would say? Yeah. Because it's him. He said that. Oh, this poor guy. He's dead. Hi. And I get a free madman's knowledge out of the deal. The bell is still rung, by the way. Anyone who really wants to join the stream and murder me can do that. It's... it's... Not only is it permitted, it's encouraged. Y'all have one job, and that is to murder me. I'm gonna try and avoid combat for a little bit, just to conserve my resources. Yeah. Alright, take the elevator. Oh god, oh god, he followed me! I didn't know dogs could ride elevators! Okay, give me a second, I think I just had a heart attack. Ass invasion encouraged. No, it is not. Stop this. It's been like an hour. Why are you still on this? Why, why are we still on this topic? Because it's, it's not perfect. It's the opposite of perfect. It's imperfect. Yeah, I said it. Baby. The baby is perfect. And that, that, in that, you are, you are correct. Baby. Oh God, I am hurting for certain. It's supposed to be hurting for certain, but it, I did it right and messed that up. I'm gonna go back to Central Yarnum and farm some uh, some healing items. Yarnum. Central Yarnum. I feel like that's the name of, of a pirate city. Yarnum. 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 <sighs> <laughs> oh. Okay. Um, I'm running out of things to talk about. I was really expecting more invasions. Um, not in my ass, in the game. That's what I was expecting, but I guess no one wants to do the manhunt. It's not too early for a manhunt. It is the perfect time for a manhunt, and everyone thinks so. Yeah, always time for a manhunt. Yes, it's always time for a manhunt. Okay. Broccoli Wizard Edition. I want people to try and kill me, but they won't do it, no matter how hard I tell them to do it. Ow, ow, and I'm dead. That's fine. No, not a man ass hunt. Damn it, Tiernan, stop. Kiss for mommy. Kiss for mommy. Kiss for mommy. Okay, well, I died, but that's fine because these things happen, you know? It's not Oh god, I'm all the way here. Oh no. And I can't use the hunter's dream. But on the on the plus side, I am resupplied, which is great. Um, so I don't have to go farm for supplies. I can just do the thing. So, the next order of business is to kill Amelia. Then we'll get to go to the Forbidden Woods, and uh-oh. Okay. <laughs> Mistakes have been made. <coughs> I don't have their own, I swear. I'm gonna eat a piece of cake. A bite of it. Don't sing happy birthday. It's not my birthday. I just have cake here because Jesse wanted the cake. Happy birthday. It's good 
cake. Mm. It's really good cake. And it's cool because I did my setup, so mm -hmm. it's fine. It's allowed. So mm. Anyways, for those of you just joining us, this is the Bloodborne Manhunt stream, in which I play Bloodborne, and people who have the, the guts to face me attempt to murder me. So far, one person has tried twice, failed both times, and then gave up. And no one else has had the backbone to challenge me in the, on the, in the Ring of Honor. Y'all are bitches. I'm calling you out. Fight me. Fight me. Fight me. Uh oh. Oh, okay. Tiernan's leaving. Goodbye, T. I'll see you when I see you. And the stream goes on. Please, seriously, like, it's the the sh I need people to invade the my game. You can find the passcode in the description, or I can say it again. It's two three five four nine four four. Please, just invade this game. That is the whole point. It's a manhunt. I need people. I need men to hunt me. I am the man. Please, I require hunting. Goodwill Hunting. Great movie, by the way. If you haven't seen it, recommend. It's a very, a very well made and well directed and well acted Robin Williams movie, and God rest his soul. And um, it was, it, I, I, I liked it. I liked it because it was good. Baby. What's she doing? What's the baby doing? Trying to, like, let me in. Oh, she's trying to open the door. Yeah, it feels like the more I encourage that baby to not play with doors, the more determined she is to play with doors. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Don't play with doors, please. Okay, remember what I said about a call beyond and how spamming it was a scumbag tactic? Throw that out the window. We're going to go spam a call beyond. But first, encourage invaders. In case anyone decides they want a piece of this. Hey, no, we'll grab. Ooh. Come here. Come here, baby. Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. Oh, that mistake. Mistake. I thought my, I thought the hitboxes were small enough that I could get past that. Come back. Okay. No, no, we're in good shape. Just gonna rush Maria. I guess this is just gonna turn into a Bloodborne long play. I guess. I just said I guess twice. I guess. If no one's gonna invade. It's still open, if anyone wants to. Is it? Yeah. You rang the bell? I rang the bell. I mean, it's not open now, because I'm opening this door, which closes it off. But they had their chance. I rang the dang old bell. Uh, after this, we'll go to the Forbidden Woods, and then we'll kill the Shadows of Yarnum, and then after that, we'll kill Rom, and then after that, we'll kill the One Reborn, and then after that, we'll kill Mikolash, and then after that, we'll kill the Wet Nurse, and then after that, we'll kill Garman. Actually, we won't kill Garman. The Orphan is... Yeah, because I have to go into the DLC and kill the Orphan. But before I kill the Orphan, I have to kill Ludwig, and then I have to kill Maria, and then I have to kill the, the Orphan. And then I have to kill the... Yeah. Lots of people to kill. I am a, v a very busy murderer. But luckily, I have the power of God and anime on my side. I'm gonna die. <laughs> Look at that health. Okay. Hi. Bonk. And my tentacle does almost no damage to her. Which is why we have... Oh god. Oh god. No. Mar Amelia, you need to stop. You need to learn... Boundaries. <coughs> Boundaries, Amelia. Amelia! <laughs> okay, got some health back. That's good. It's always good. Right. So she, she's at about half health. I don't think I'm going to lose. I think I have a good chance of winning this one. Ow. If I could... Oh, God. Uh, okay, I'm dead. 
Oh, and I'm not dead. I'm still alive. Why is she doing this? She's spamming. This bitch be spamming. Okay, I need some distance. Right. Call beyond. Not as much damage as I was hoping. Ow. And you knocked me out of my spell. Uh-oh. Move! Okay, I'm dead. Call beyond. Not really the uh, fail-safe I thought it would be. Also, still not my birthday. I don't know... Well, I do know why people think that, but it's not my birthday. My birthday is on the 17th of April. It is not today. You can wish me a happy birthday on my actual birthday. Trust me, I'll let you know when it happens, but it's not right now. It's still not my birthday. <laughs> and also, because I'm not allowed to go to the Hunter's Dream, we have to spawn here. Hi. In this place. Hi there. This place is where we have to spawn. It's not where I want to spawn, because now I have to trek all the way back. But it, we don't have a choice. Let me ring the dang old bell. Oh, I can't ring the bell. Gosh dang doodles. And I'm dead. Damn it. This is going to take longer than I was expecting. Because I'm not playing like a good person who plays. I know I've been quiet for a couple of seconds, so it's just consuming more delicious cake. Not birthday cake, just regular cake. No, there's not a candle in it. I took the candle out. Right, and I'll try not to fall to my death here. Hopefully this time I can kill Amelia. Hello, boo-boo. If you're hearing a baby right now, just, uh... Hey, 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 what do you think you're doing? Hey, 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 baby. No, that's not yours. That's mine. That's Daddy's. You had yours. She's trying to steal my dessert. Yeah. You had yours, Daddy. Yeah, the chocolate bandit. Ow. That hurt. Kind of a lot. Zaley doesn't like wearing pants. Just, you know... In case anyone was wondering, she's not cool with the pants situation. Doesn't like wearing them. Doesn't like having to wear them. Doesn't like it. Okay. You know, I think this time I'm going to send the elevator back down before I get off. Just, uh, just in case I require it again. And, uh, we'll try to kill Amelia. Again. This time, I'm thinking maybe the Executioner's Gloves are the way to go. So they still use up a lot of ammo, but a slightly shorter casting time gives me a better opportunity to get in some hits and then escape before things turn for the worst. Oh god. Oh god, no. Oh no. Oh no, that's a problem. Hi. That's the baby. Whoa. The baby almost falling over, but not quite. She's just cruising around. Yeah, please don't grab that. She's just having a play. So, if the, if, if the sound of a baby playing bothers you, I guess, uh, tough luck. I'm not sorry. She's having fun, and that's the most important thing to me. That's my child. Alright, come here, Amelia. Yeah, get fucked. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. And I'm dead. I don't know why I'm suddenly having trouble against Amelia. I never have trouble against Amelia. Uh, I almost never have trouble with Amelia, but I'm having a lot of trouble right now, and I'm sorry. Maybe I'd do better if there were some people invading me, but they can't because the bell isn't working in this area. Zaley, can you stop, please? 
You're not supposed to slap that. No slapping, please. You want to follow Mama? Go follow Mommy. You know, not Dada. Dada's Dada's streaming right now. Go follow Mommy. Anyways. I think everyone's left. I don't think anyone's still watching. So, I'm just going to talk about random shit until someone makes known their presence. And, uh... Hey, Azalea, can you stop that, please? Nope. That's not a drum. It's not for... It, you don't hit that. That belongs to your mother. Sorry, she's grabbing blocks and then smacking the, the um, Xbox 360 with them. And I, I don't believe she's doing any actual damage to it. I think she's just hitting the casing. But it is loud. And uh, on the off chance it is damaging, I'd prefer if she stopped. Because it's not mine and it's not hers. It's her mother's. Anyways, back to fighting Amelia. This time I swear I won't die. Unless I do. In which case, I reserve the right to say that I didn't that I never made any promises. Here we go. And if you're one of those people who likes to watch games be streamed in total silence, uh, sorry. I guess I could just not talk, but I personally would find that kind of boring. I mean, I like playing games more than I like watching games, and if I was going to watch someone play a game, I would want them to actually, like, be interesting. And not just a complete total silence, as if a ghost was playing the game. Okay, I'm just gonna give Amelia the old one-two smack. The old one-two smack -a -rooney. Yeah, this, I think, is a better idea than the other, than the Call Beyond. It's not quite as damaging, but you know, it's it's getting the job done, and that's what that's what counts. By the way, there are certain areas that I will just not be able to access in this playthrough, because there's no way to leave those areas without using the Hunter's Dream. And as the Hunter's Dream is prohibited, I cannot access those areas. Those areas are prohibited as well. Uh, those areas include Castle Kanehurst. Can't go there. It's prohibited. Because there's no way out. Honey, didn't we tell you not to do that? You know better than that, Azalea. You're not supposed to do that. Sorry, everyone. Everyone who's totally not there. And if you are there, uh, sorry. Sorry for me ignoring you. But in my defense, you're being very quiet, and I can't know if anyone's there if they don't say anything. Just... Okay. Alright. So, that is my biggest issue with the uh, Executioner's Gloves. They do a lot of damage, and they home in on the, on the target, but... They don't last very long before they disappear. And, uh... I need my projectiles to have a little bit more oomph. Oh, the baby is going to bed. Can I have a kiss, please? Mwah! Thank you. Okay, baby's going up to bed, so it's just gonna be me down here for a little bit. Doing the stream. That's fine. Doing the stream, doing the thing. Um, good night, sweet potato. Love you. So anyways, uh, how y'all doing? How you doing? Stream audience. I never know what to call people. I feel like audience is a, is a pretty good neutralish term. I don't like to call people who watch my content fans because that, I don't know, it has connotations that I'm not really a fan of, ironically. And she's healing herself, which is exactly what I didn't need her to do right now. No healing yourself, please. I should have picked up those, um... Uh... Those items that I could have picked up that would have prevented her from healing herself, but... I was in a hurry, and I didn't pick them up, and I really should have, because now she's dragging out the fight to waste my time. Luckily, I should still be able to kill her with, uh... Time to spare. There we go. We'll get that visceral in. Do a nice chunk of damage. Not a huge chunk of damage, but a nice little one. Let's walk to the Black Sky Eye for ammo economy. Go 
Okay, almost there, almost done. Should be the last hit here. Done. And she's dead. Congratulations, me! I've successfully turned Bloodborne into a shooter. Which, if you were paying attention during Bloodborne's development, which not many people were, because who does that unless you're obsessed with the game, like me? Um, Miyazaki, the director of the game, legitimately actually stated that he did not want this game to become a shooter. And lo and behold, what I have wrought. I have successfully transformed it into a shooter. Behold my power. In other news about the channel, uh, hopefully tomorrow I'll be... Uh, I'm, I'm assuming that it's going to come out tomorrow. I'll be uploading another chapter of the uh, Death Worlders audiobook. I know that that's been coming out really slowly and a lot of people want more of it. Um, I'm trying to sort of get into a cycle with my videos and that I'll do a, a spooky story and then I'll do a comic dub and then I'll do you know, a Death Worlders chapter, and then I'll do something else. I have a lot of different projects on the table, um, including some uh, secret projects that I'm not going to tell you guys about right now because it is a secret, as aforementioned. But rest assured, it's I, th I at least think it's really cool, and I think um, those of you who get to see it, who uh, those of you who do see it, will will be happy with it. I hope. I hope you will be. Because I am I'm doing the best I can. So we're going to run back to the, um, the main area and just do a little bit of farming. A little bit of farming for resources because I can't go to the Hunter's Dream and buy them. Just can't be done. Not allowed. Consider this like a, almost like a no bonfire run of Dark Souls. But different because it's Bloodborne. And technically, I do get to light the lamps. I just can't go to the hub world. Can't uh, do a lot of the things that you would normally do in the hub world. But luckily, I don't need to. I don't need to upgrade any of my weapons because... Well, I mean, why, why would I need to upgrade my weapons? They're already fully upgraded. It's New Game Plus 3, my dudes. Um, I don't need to do some other shit because... I don't need to level up because this, this character is already at the optimal level for the amount of power he has. Like, things are things are going pretty well for me. No one's watching this stream right now, so I'm talking to thin air, but that's fine. People might watch later. Just me and Bloodborne. On the subject of streams, I think the last time I streamed on this channel was um, Resident Evil 7. I was playing uh, Knife Only if memory serves, that was a lot of fun. I really, really enjoyed that stream, and I hope that people who were there for it also enjoyed it, because it was a lot of fun to play, and I never actually managed to finish it, mostly because I think beating the game with only the knife is almost impossible, especially on uh, Madhouse difficulty. And I'm dead. That's fine. Uh, because I was stuck on the Marguerite fight, where she throws you down that hole, and you have to try and survive her onslaught of bugs. But if you're not using any guns and all you have is the knife, you just sort of you just sort of die. And I can't figure out any way of not dying. So, unfortunately, the knife-only run had to come to an end. Which really sucks, considering I spent like two hours trying to beat Jack with just the knife. Before someone pointed out the super obvious trick that you can just duck and dodge all of his attacks. Um, which was an absolutely fantastic tip, because it works in almost every instance of the game. Almost. In most combat encounters in Resident Evil 7, you can just duck and you'll dodge everything. And that's great. I love that. It's absolutely fantastic, and it, it feels good, too. It's a good dodge mechanic. I feel like there's not enough first-person games with, uh, like, advanced melee and dodging. A lot of people say dodging in, in first-person games is weird, considering the orientation of the camera and the fact that you can't see your character model. But 
a few games that that do have it, I feel, have done it really well. Like Cry of Fear, you can dodge in that game, and it's just like a quick dash. And yeah, if someone's behind you and you missed and you you miss the dodge, you're gonna get hit anyways. But that's how it would work in real life. So, you know, fuck it. Um. I'm gonna take the time to eat another bite of cake because it's here and no one's watching this stream right now. So I'm gonna eat this. Mmm. Mmm. Now, we're entering this new area and in this area the bell should become available so people can begin invasions again. Come on, there we go. So, if you remember, the code to invade is 2354944. -4. Everyone is welcome to invade. I am encouraging invaders. I want them to come in here and murder me, or at least try to, because I'm going to fight back, and I'm going to fight back real hard. Um... Last guy who invaded me, he invaded twice, and I killed him both times, and then he stopped invading, and I was very sad. So, Deadly, if you're out there, I miss you. Anyways, just continuing on through this area, um, I feel like I'm going to have a good bit of trouble with the Shadows of Yarnum boss. I tend to have a little bit of trouble here and there with those guys. Just because it's a, like, it's just the difficulty of a three-on-one fight. Okay. This seems like a really bad spot to be in. I guess I'll die. I don't know why I bothered going back there. I couldn't remember if it was uh, twin bloodstone shards or bullets, and I thought maybe if I could get bullets for my stockpile, I'd be better off. But as it turns out, it was it was blood st twin bloodstone shards, which are worthless. At least they're worthless to me right now, because my weapons are all fully upgraded, and I can't go to the Hunter's Dream anyways, so fuck it. Right. The path is open. Let the invaders do the invading. Once again, a recap of some of the rules about invading for this, uh, for this manhunt stream. Um, if I am damaged by an invader, I immediately have to engage. Um, neither myself nor the invader are permitted to heal using blood vials throughout the, the course of our fight. We can heal via other means, but not blood vials because that will make the fights take forever and also handicap the run to a point where it just becomes tedious. And that's not what everyone's here for. We're not all here for tediousness. We're here to have fun. And as much as I love Bloodborne, something that I do feel was a bit of a... a very minor flaw was the farming for healing items thing. It wasn't great in Demon Souls, and I don't really find it great now in Bloodborne. I mean... It's the one thing that... I, it's the only thing, one of the only things, that I actually dislike about the game. Because in most respects, Bloodborne is my favorite game. I mean, I've had it since it came out in 2015. And I still love it. I'm still playing it to this day. I know it inside and out. I know everything about this game, but I will never stop playing it. It's so good. Um, I just, I don't know, there's something very special about Bloodborne. It came out when I was a senior in high school. And I bought it, I bought the game before I had a PS4 to play it on. That's how obsessed I was. I followed the game's development for like months leading up to its release. I was so obsessed. And it finally came out and I bought it and I would just have the box like on my person. I would keep it in my backpack and I'd take it out on lunch breaks at school or lunch hour or whatever it is. I would take it out and I'd just look at it and I'd just be amazed that this beautiful thing was mine and I was going to get to play it as soon as I had the money for a PS4. Uh, and at the time I was working as, as a custodian 
at my old elementary school and I was saving every paycheck so I could afford to buy a PS4 um, fresh off the market so I could play my my beautiful new game that I'd been looking forward to for months and months and until I could f and I kept saving and saving and saving until I could finally afford the PS4 and I bought it and I took it home and I set it up and I played Bloodborne and I have since played it to an absolute pulp. I love this game. I love this game with every fiber of my being. Um because it like it, it it's so close to perfection. It's so so close to my idea of what a perfect game is. It's not I mean it's not there are a couple of things here and there that I feel like could have been altered slightly. Um, for one thing, a lot of the time I never got that feeling. Uh, certain games have this. For me in Dark Souls, it was the Bandit Knife. Uh, in Dark Souls 1 and 3. Dark Souls 2, I, I also... It didn't really do this for me. Uh, most weapons in, in Souls games, or at least most players, have one weapon that clicks. You know, it sort of clicks for them and it becomes their favorite. It becomes like their, their default or preferred playstyle. And I never really got one of those, and I really wanted to have one of those, but I just didn't get it. Um, and it sucked because I don't know. I, I I have I've gotten that feeling in other RPGs before. That feeling that uh, there's a specific weapon or playstyle or combination that feels right to you that you really get into, and you, and. I don't know, it, it, it feels better playing with that than anything else, and I never got that click, that feeling where like it all fits together like a puzzle. Um, I never got that with Bloodborne. I love the game, I've, I've played through the, the entirety of it with every single weapon in the, uh, in the game as like my main. I've even played through the game using offhand, only offhand weapons like the Torch or the Fist of Gradia. Because I love this game, but... I still just can't find that one specific weapon that clicks for me. Oh, sorry. I think that was uh, my phone. Let me let me put that on silent. Sorry. So yeah, I couldn't find it in Bloodborne. There were a couple of other games uh, that I couldn't find it in, where things just did not click. Dark Souls 2 was kind of one of those as well. Mostly because for the most part, my preferred weapon in in RPGs is is dagger weapons. I like knives in those games. Don't fucking judge me. Uh, I'm, I swear to God, I'm not a psychopath. But I really like dagger type weapons in those sorts of games. Or alternatively, I really like uh, mace weapons as well. So, the blood letter appealed in Bloodborne. It's not a dagger, but it is a mace, and so that appealed to me a lot. I really liked that weapon. Um, not perfect, by any means. Its moveset is a little bit, uh, boring, just compared to other movesets in the game. But it's powerful, and it's fun to use, so that was my go-to for a while, but that really didn't click either. Um, I'm still, I guess I'm still waiting for that one weapon that clicks. And in the meantime, let's fight the three musketeers. The three bitches. The three ass blasting bitchaloids. Okay, this is already going very poorly. Okay, that's better. It's not as much damage as I would have liked, but it's, you know, it's not nothing. The only reason I'm using these Executioner's Gloves is because, uh, the ammo economy is better than Call Beyond. Uh, it's not as good as Black Sky Eye, but it has higher damage. And right now what I want, especially against all three of these guys at once, is damage. This is going to be a really tough fight for me, since it's a three-on-one deal, and I only have so many bullets to work with. But it's always sort of my go-to to deal with the long-range guy first and deal with the sword guys afterwards. Because once he's out of the picture and he can't fling fireballs at me, um, 
I have a much better chance of victory. So I'm just sort of dodging around and picking on him. Sometimes these miss, they're not perfect. And I do have some health regens, so I guess if I was willing to wait long enough, I'd have unlimited ammo. This rock here is such a lifesaver in this fight. That big tombstone, that thing will save your life every time you fight these guys. Every time without fail. Okay, I think they're going to do their snake thing. Okay, they did the snake thing. Oh god. Now, the problem with this is it gives all of them more range with their attacks. Ow. Ooh. Ow. Especially that one sword guy. He gets to stretch his arm out a bunch, like that guy in Mr. Fantastic. Um, so I'd really like to kill this guy right now. Make this a lot easier on me if he would be dead. Okay, he's dead. Fantastic. Now, we can focus on these guys. Now, once there's only one left, things are going to be a lot easier. Like, a lot, a lot easier when there's only one left. So, we're going to focus on killing the guy with the fire sword and the candle. Just leave that last guy with the regular-ass sword. Ow. Okay, running low on health already. I just gotta not screw up too much. Ooh. 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 I hate that. There's always that one moment where you try and do the... Ow. Ah, damn it. That's the moment. That's it right there. Where I'll try to, to quote-unquote reload or just get myself more blood bullets, and that's when they choose to do that stinger attack. That's okay. I can try again. There's nothing wrong with having to try again. Um, this fight on its own has always been kind of annoying to me. It's definitely not my favorite boss fight in the game. Not by any means. Um, I am worried about certain other bosses that I'll be fighting later on. If I'm having this much trouble with these guys, I have no idea how I'm going to beat people like uh, Orphan of Koss. Especially when this run requires that I beat Orphan of Koss. Or, I mean, Ludwig. Ludwig is going to be a nightmare to fight. Um, especially because A Call Beyond was sort of my, my lifeline in the last couple of playthroughs. Now it doesn't do enough damage to justify the the amount of ammo that it goes through. Especially since when half the projectiles will just miss. I can't justify using it anymore. So I have to find other solutions. Which means using less traditionally effective tools. And yeah, I could run up and just start slapping them with my tentacles. But my tentacles are about to break. Because I didn't repair my weapons before I started the run. Which was really dumb. But, there is still hope. Because I am amazing at this game. And I have beaten all of these guys before, so no matter how, t how tough it is, I can do it again. I just might not be able to do it in one night. It's also extremely disconcerting that no one has uh, attempted to invade. Or even stated in like in the chat or something that they want to invade. Because hey, like if 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 I haven't rung the bell yet and you want to invade, just pop in the chat. Like hey, I want to invade and you haven't rung the bell. Can you ring the? Can you remember to ring the bell, you stupid idiot? And then I'll ring the bell and you can invade and we can have a fight and it'll be awesome. But if nobody invades, then it's not like a Bloodborne manhunt stream. It's just a regular stream. When I get back in America, where most of my viewers are, it's pretty pretty early. Definitely very early for a stream. Most of you are probably still at work. But I have to operate on a timetable that, that's, that's right for me. And that timetable right now is... right now. I can't, uh, I can't afford to wait any longer because the later it gets over here, the less sleep I'm going to get tonight. And I have to be up pretty early in the morning 
to take care of the baby while my wife is at work. Right, so let's focus on... Ow, okay, off to a fantastic start right off the bat. We'll focus on Candle Boy right, off, right away. Right off the bat, we're going to focus on Candle Boy. Yeah, eat it, bitch. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Maybe Black Sky Eye is the way to go. It is the fastest casting of my spells. And a straight line. So there's less bullshit involved. Uh-oh. Backed myself into a corner, and I'm dead. Okay. This might have been a really bad idea. That's my only issue with these games, is uh, a lot of the time it's hard to tell where you are in the boss arena. So while I'm okay with, with you know smaller spaces, and I'm okay with there being obstacles. I just don't like the sort of weirdly shaped walls in these arenas where there's alcoves you can get stuck in. Um, you know, I'll, I'll try and dodge away, and I'll get stuck in a crevice, and then I'll try and dodge out of the crevice, and I'm, I won't be able to leave. I'll just be stuck in the crevice. It's, uh, not, not fun being stuck in the crevice. Not fun at all. But... I can beat this boss, we'll move on, we'll kill Rom. Rom should be pretty easy, um, all things considered. Rom is kind of a bitch. As long as I keep my distance and fire off some magic attacks, Rom should go down without too much of a fight. I, I, I don't want to go, t I don't want to brag or, or get cocky and say I'll beat Rom first try, because I, if I say that, I definitely won't beat Rom first try. But I don't think it's going to take too long. Or at the very least, it's not going to take too many attempts. It might be a long-ass fight because of how little damage I do. But the thing I'm dreading the most is probably Living Failures. Um, the Living Failures boss is the bane of my existence. I, I think maybe once in ever since I got this game have I beaten it without having to summon in help. Not because it's a particularly difficult boss fight. I mean, it is, for me personally, a very hard fight. Just because of how long it is and how much health they give the boss, like, it's just such a slog to fight through when you're fighting, like, five enemies at once that constantly respawn as you kill them. I just do not like, uh, living failures. I find it to be really annoying as a fight. Though, you know, depending on how long this stream goes, I might not even reach that battle. Might not even reach it. What I will do is, um... I'm going to wait to enter the DLC until after I've killed the Wet Nurse. Once I've killed Mergo's Wet Nurse, then uh, we can feel free to uh, move into the DLC. Ow! Fucking pig! Sometimes the pigs really do bother me. Uh, especially with how much damage they do. My god. I don't want to... Okay, you know what? You know what we're going to do? I have health regen. It's slow as hell, but I have it. Let's just wait for my health to regenerate on its own for a bit. We can just talk. We can just chat. Maybe someone will invade. You never know. Um, we can just talk for a minute while this is happening. Uh, and I can let you guys know what the future of the channel is looking like. First of all, I want to say thank you. Because in the past couple of weeks, my channel has almost quintupled in size. Like, it has... It's gone from a little over 1,000 subs to almost 5,000 subs now. And... I mean, it feels amazing to know that so many people are interested in my work and like to listen to m my content. It's really nice, and it means a lot to me that people are this invested, I guess. Uh... I don't know, I don't know what, to, what even to say about it. I just... Makes me very happy. Um, there's recently a spike in one of my comic dub videos. The uh, the one about the vampire MILF from the new um, Resident Evil game. Uh, it's doing very well on the channel. Really, really well. I think in the last like 48 hours it's gotten 16,000 views. Which is nuts and crazy. 
and it's currently currently like in the top the the top video in the last 28 days with uh from March 17th to April 13th about 276,666 views which is a lot of views um, in fact, a lot of my comic dubs are the ones that are bringing all the uh, bringing in all the views, which makes me think that's what people want to watch. Um, and if that's the case, I'll just keep making more of those. But I don't want to uh, betray any of those people who have been with me since the beginning and really like the other content that I make. I'm just going to keep on doing what I do and making the kind of stuff that I like to make and hope that that's enough to keep people happy. You know, I do this channel... And all the stuff I do here, every video I make, it, uh, I mean, yeah, it's cool to be able to make money from it, and it's cool to, that people like it, but at its heart, I do this stuff for me. I do it because I like to do it. It makes me happy. It makes me feel, um, at least more fulfilled just having the opportunity to make something and sort of see it become mine. Um, yeah, so I don't really, I don't know what else to say besides that. Looks like we're almost fully recharged on health. Um, chat has been, um, very silent for the past, like, 30 minutes. I assume there's not very many people there. Ooh, that's okay. Anyways, I will, um, uh, uh, sorry, um, continue to play the game and try to make this stream more interesting and less boring for anyone who may be still watching if you're there and if you're not watching then I guess no, whatever okay maybe this guy seems very aggressive so maybe hitting him first is the way to go oh god and see this is what I'm talking about I get stuck ow okay no that's it fireball boy has to go he has to die I don't like him I don't like his face now, see, this is why this doesn't seem to work, because I'll, I'll fire off a, a shot at them, and they just dodge it. Well, except for, when he, except for when that happens. He doesn't dodge it then. Okay, he didn't dodge it then either. He dodged that one. That's okay. Uh, I've got some ammo, at least. Not a ton, but I've got some. Okay, managed to hit him with that one. Maybe... Ow! Dick. Hold on. I have an idea. Maybe close range fighting is the way to go here. Nope. The casting touch speed is way too slow with this thing. Oh, but it does the most damage out of my... You know what? It does more damage than the Black Sky Eyes, so I think we're going to stick with it. Yeah, that does a good deal more damage, actually. Ah! Enough! Ugh. Okay, this is going a bit a, a bit better than my last attempt. No corner sticking as of yet. Ow, wow, that does so much damage. No, no, no. Speaking of corner sticking, it's the one thing about about this boss arena that I absolutely cannot stand is the fact that that happens. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, our boy over there is doing his thing. Okay, we don't... We're not too low on resources yet. Uh, I do want to try and kill this guy quickly. Ow! The fact that doing this only cost me a single bullet is nice, but I am going to run out of healing items pretty soon, which is going to leave us high and dry. Ow! Damn it! 
Can you stop? You guys are such assholes. I really hate his stretchy arm. I really hate it. It just... I don't know. There's something that really, really rubs me the wrong way about his ability to do that shit. Especially when I have very limited resources, I can't afford to waste them constantly healing myself from damage done by these dicks. Can you stop, please? Stop, please. Oh god, I hate them. And he, he does it all the time, too. He'll spam that one stinger move where he just thrusts it forward into my face. It sounds really gay. I just, uh, I don't know. I don't like certain things about this boss arena. It's not a bad boss. I'm not going to blame the game. That's that is the thing for weak for weak people to do. Um it's not the game's fault. It's overwhelmingly my fault. But I'll try again. I'll keep the uh keep the hits coming and there's got to be some, the problem with these guys is they're so quick you know I don't have any I don't have any uh, easy way of um, <clears throat> countering how fast they are Bloodborne is like HP Lovecraft stories yeah it, you know it is it is uh, it's very Lovecraftian in nature I would say it's it's a very um, eldritch horror sort of game, but with a lot of action elements as well. You know, fun boss fights. Um, yeah, I don't know. There's there's definitely Lovecraftian elements to. I mean, hell, look at my character. I'm a piece of sentient broccoli. Um, I wish I didn't have to be. I wish I could use this tentacle weapon without having to have a broccoli head, but the devs made it this way for a reason, and. I just have to live with it. Um, I'm sorry, I wasn't looking at chat for a little while to see that if anyone was in here. I just sort of assumed nobody was. Uh, my streams aren't really hugely popular. They they do okay, I guess, but generally speaking, they're just kind of eh. But so, the next chapter of Death Worlders, if anyone's interested in those, that'll be coming out tomorrow. Um, I know a lot of people are interested in that series, and I know I've been pretty neglectful in posting it regularly. I'll, I'll just sort of post one when I remember that it's been a while since the last one came out. But I'm going to try and be more regular about it because I know there's a lot of story to cover and I want people to be able to enjoy it in an audio format. Specifically on my channel. I know there's other channels that they can turn to who have done the Death Worlders before, but I like to think that my voice and the way that I portray the characters puts a more unique spin on it. Um that I feel makes it more worthwhile to listen to than just, you know, any old, any other old person who does their take on that story. Sorry, I'm trying to get rid of this pig so that it wasn't it doesn't sla slam into me later. There we go. This should be my opportunity. Pig colonoscopy coming right up. Oh, it wasn't enough. We'll do another one. Okay, that's better. I'm not going to waste blood. Uh, you know what? I'll, I'll waste one right now because I'm about to pick up another one. There we go. Um, I'll give this fight another shot. I'm going to probably stick with Black Sky Eye just because it is the fastest firing of my tools. And it doesn't require that I get in close with these assholes. Um... It also means that I'm gonna have to, uh, that I have more time before I have to quote unquote reload. That's what I'll, I I tend to refer to the um, the process of it acquiring more blood bullets as reloading um, because it's just, mechanically it's the same thing. It's a period of time wherein I cannot uh, where I have to move slower for a minute and I can't attack and I can't dodge. It's just a couple of seconds long, but it's it's so impactful. Like, it's so impactful. Ow. I feel like killing one of these guys first is the way to go, since they're the stretchy ones. 
Are they the ones who get to be stretchy later? Ow. Ow. Okay. But that fireball guy is so annoying, I just- I feel like I have to kill him first most of the time. And this is really not doing the amount of damage I was hoping it would. I was really hoping for heavier hits. Especially with 99 arcane. You would think, right? You would think. It also doesn't help that a, a lot of the time I'm missing because they keep dodging out of the way of my hits. Sometimes I'll manage to clip them, but it really doesn't do as much damage as I want. It'd be nice if Black Sky I could parry. That'd be really cool. Ow. Yeah, see, it's stuff like that where I'll run into, like, a wall just because I'm backtracking and giving ground. I know backtracking and giving ground is the opposite of what the game wants me to do, but it's the only way that this playstyle can really work. Ow, damn it. Everyone is so aggressive. Damn it, and I'm dead. Because rocks are everywhere. Ugh, I swear. It's getting a really difficult to justify continuing this stream when no one's watching and no one's invading when anything's going on. I don't know, man. I'm just finding it difficult to get motivated. Maybe I should have done this uh, a couple of new game cycles a ago. Maybe no one's invading because I'm too high level. Um, I'm not sure what it could be. But I'm just going to keep on keeping on. And if I don't beat the game when I want to beat the game, then I guess I'll just end the stream then. You know, it seems like folks aren't really that interested in this. Um, but hey, if I give up and don't beat the game, I guess that means you guys win. I guess it means that, uh, you know, I, uh, failed in my goal, but I've already been streaming for, like, t a little over two hours, and I'm not even at the halfway point. There's just so much left to do in this game, and I'm not, I, I almost do no damage to anybody. Hold on, will I ring the bell so anyone who wants to invade can invade? Um, I don't know, I might try a call beyond. I don't think it's gonna work, but... It's worth a shot, at least. I mean, I haven't really used it that much so far. Mostly because it's, its ammo economy is just atrocious, but... It does... I mean, it does do good damage, it's just... These guys are so good at closing the gap quickly that I feel like in the time it's gonna take me to cast it... They're gonna close and, and murder me. And it's also really easy to, for me as a player to get knocked out of the animation, so I don't even get to cast it in the first place. So I take damage and lose bullets, and they don't have to, and, and don't get anything done for it. You know, it's very high risk to use a call beyond because it has such a long casting time. And my throat's starting to get a little sore from talking. I know I'm a voice actor and I should be used to talking for long stretches of time, but honestly, I still, if I'm just talking like non-stop with no breaks and, and no nothing in between, it's so easy to get a sore throat. Um, I don't know how to do anything about it. It just kind of sucks. But hey, that's life. Um, we'll try again. You know, that's all you can do. Maybe... I, I don't know if this spell knocks them down. I think it might. And if it does, uh, and I can hit more than one of them at the same time, there might we might stand a chance. So we'll give it a try. Ow. Okay. Off to a terrible start. And I'm stuck in a corner. Yeah, I don't do enough damage with my little tentacle arms. To really even call them... I don't even know what they count as weapons. I mean, it's more of just a love tap. And I've already wasted so many resources just fucking around trying to find a tool to use that isn't awful. I don't know, maybe using the uh, Augur of Ebrietas is not such a bad idea. 
But then again, maybe it is. I seem to always take egregious damage. I'm just worried that it, I don't have any tools that are going to make this bearable. And I'm dead. Oh, I'm feeling a rage quit coming on. I don't generally rage quit, but the failure of this stream has got me in a bit of a foul mood. I mean, I've been hyping it up for months. I was kind of expecting more people to show up. Especially with the... I mean, my channel's been seeing some pretty massive growth lately, and I was really expecting more people to show. Um, that's alright. I guess. I'll just, uh... Well, I don't know. I don't even know if there's really a point in keep on keeping on. <sighs> Maybe, uh... Maybe Broccoli Wizard needs to retire. Maybe it's, uh... Time for the old Broccoli Boy to call it a night. And I mean, it's not as if this has been a particularly short stream. It's been, um... I mean, it's been a, it's been a couple hours. I feel like the stream would have gone on longer and I would have been more confident about it if it had, uh... I guess not devolved into one boss kicking my ass over and over with no, with almost no hope of victory. Um, I'm gonna try Executioner's Gloves again. I feel like I had the most, or at least the closest to success when I was using those. Man. Maybe I should play the game traditionally, you know, the way it was meant to be played. Maybe that's the, the key. Or maybe I should switch to a character that I have that's uh, not ridiculously overpowered. Maybe more people would join then if uh, I wasn't ridiculous. I think the only reason I'm having this kind of trouble is because I'm on several New Game Plus cycles later than where I should be. Um, and I have another weaker character that I can utilize if people want to, f to fight that instead. It's just, you know, I already named the stream Broccoli Man and everything. I don't want to abandon my precious broccoli boy, but I'm having a lot of trouble, and it doesn't feel fair right now. It's something that, to be honest, I don't like about Souls games and FromSoft games, is that they have this thing where when you enter New Game Plus, at subsequent cycles of New Game Plus, the game will get, quote-unquote, harder to accommodate for the fact that you've picked up all those skills and levels along the way. So you don't just get, like, a massive power trip from tearing through the rest of the game with all your endgame gear and stats. My only issue with this is there's a limit on both the amount you can level up and the amount of difficulty increases that can happen. But the amount of difficulty increases that can happen far exceed how much you can level up. Like, by a ton. Like, I can have 99 in every single stat, and probably would still be having around the same amount of trouble that I'm having right now, because at a certain point, leveling up those stats past, like, 50 tends to have high diminishing returns. <clears throat> yeah, we're gonna use these. I think these are the way to go. I'm going to try and dodge forwards instead of backwards to try and give myself some breathing room. Yeah, I think this is the way to do it. I know I'm dodging backwards right now, but just bear with me. I'm just sort of moving around these guys so that I can operate safely. The fact that they home in is great, so these little fuckers can't dodge it either. Okay, need to reload. Having Stretch Armstrong over here out of the picture will be good as well. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, Fire Breathing Magoo, you're next. I think finding the right target for this, uh, this battle and properly pacing myself and using the right tool is going to lead me to a victory here. Not, I don't want to jinx it, but I feel like this is going to be a win. Ow. Okay, I jinxed it. I'm going to use this gravestone over here to try and block some of the damage. Oh, oh, I forgot to reload. 
Okay, that wasted a shot. There is one other thing about this game that I kind of complain about a lot, um, in the sense that sometimes it seems like you'll try and dodge in one direction, and your character just will not go in that direction. They'll go in the opposite direction. Oh, all zero blood echoes back. Fantastic. We are already very low on healing items, which is a problem. But our first guy is almost out of the picture, which is great. Uh, with my slight regen that I have, I can at least sort of... Okay, that's him gone. Now I can focus on Billy Bob over here. Now that they don't out number me by as much, I should stand more of a chance if I swap to Black Sky Eye for the ammo economy. Or alternatively, we take out this guy first. I mean, if there's only one melee guy wandering around, I shouldn't have too much trouble. Ow, okay. Stand corrected. I should be able to kite these guys around while my health regenerates as well. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Problem is, I'm stuck. Okay, my health should regen over time. With, when there's only two of them instead of three, it's definitely not as uh, harrowing. I know I shouldn't operate at half health here. I'm just waiting on that regeneration, hope, hoping for the best. It's very slow, the regen in this game. It's not great, but uh, I have to work with something. I want to save that last sword guy as my last opponent, because you can sort of predict what they're going to do. But only those sword guys. You know, that ball guy is harder to predict. He'll do different things. The sword guys always do the same thing. If you hit them once, then they'll dodge. Then you can just chase them and hit them again, and then they'll dodge, and so on and so forth until you win. Um. Ow. Okay, I'm gonna have to waste another healing item. Pop another one of these for the health. Okay. That's the main issue with this build, is that it's all based on resource management. And I do have a, I do think I have a good chance of winning this fight. It's just, uh, it's going to be real difficult. I'm just kiting them around, the, the one guy who's moving around. I'm just kiting him around, getting him out of my hair so I can focus on his buddy. Ow. And shit like that happens. Ow, or that, where I miss. You know, I have health regen, but it's really, really fucking slow. Like, it's so slow, it makes me wonder why they even bothered giving it to me as an ability. Like, why bother giving you an ability that's almost completely useless? I do still think I have a chance. If I can get down to just the last guy, I should be able to kick his ass pretty easily. And I won't have to use any ammo to do it. Like, I can just slap him with my tentacle, and no matter how little damage it does, I should still be able to beat him. Okay, we need to reload. Reload, heal, okay. Just try and stay out of the way of, dan of danger. Buck, see, it's a moment like that. I was trying to go backwards, and he went to the right. Okay, one... Alright, alright, we're down to the last one. Oh, and he's doing the snake thing. Fantastic. This is gonna kill me, isn't it? Yep, it's gonna kill me. It's gonna fucking kill me. I'm gonna die to snakes. Okay, we're out of... We're out of health. We're out of everything. Alright, but we have a chance now. He's just gonna do this the rest of the fight. And I can abuse his AI. It's 
So yeah, this is uh, the supreme tactic. Once you get it down to the last guy, you can just do this. Okay, unless he does that. Okay, okay. Well, I think I'm at my most ragey. And, uh, I think I might just call it a night now. That is so insanely frustrating. I straight up had him dead to rights. There is nothing that should have made him able to escape my wrath, but he escaped it. He, uh, he pulled off an escape. <sighs> and now I'd have to start all over. I don't really want to do that. And no one's watching the stream anyways, so... I guess that's it for the first Bloodborne Manhunt video. and Or stream, that is. It's been kind of fun. When there were people actually watching, it was fun. It's, it's a lot less fun just talking to yourself all alone. So, I guess I'll call it a night. Um... I'm not going to actually finish the game this stream with the Broccoli Wizard. Maybe I will next time, and just play it on, like, regular New Game Plus instead of New Game Plus 3 or 4. Um, I feel like at this point it just gets too difficult to even bother with anymore. I mean, I'm not really having fun doing this. I would be if there were still people to talk to and hang out with, but it's just me down here and I'm feeling kind of lonely. Um, so I guess that's it for this stream. Sorry, it's it wasn't... If it wasn't everything you hoped it would be, it wasn't really everything I hoped it would be either. That's okay. We can always try again with the next one once I finally build back up my Gunslinger build from nothingness. Um, and I'll see you guys later.